hello everybody. I'm gonna give everyone just a minute or so to hop on and join in. Today for my special treat, I went full out and I got myself, oh it has no name, uh, it's like a pineapple matcha green tea drink. It is delicious. I'm really excited. Chelsea, hey! I figured for the last class, I could treat myself to like some legit Starbucks, not just like gas station Starbucks. So this is what I'm drinking today. This is my treat. Chelsea, are you painting with us today or are you just hanging out? While we're getting started, I'm going to go ahead and show y'all what we're painting, what we're painting with. And so stand by, let me flip you. Okay, so today we are painting this beautiful lily, which I'm really excited about. Um, it's a nice pretty pink color. For our class today, we need a surface to paint on. We need our red, blue, and yellow paint. We need our white paint. We need a pencil to draw with and a paintbrush that's about the size of a pinky nail. Mine is purple, I don't know why. Um, so we need that and then we need some water to clean our brushes off with and a rag to clean your brushes off with after you've washed them. So that's the supplies that we need today. I don't know if you're aware. Hey, Miss Marla, welcome. Don't know if you realize this, but today is our last class for the season. So we've been painting since, well, since everyone kind of had to go into quarantine and social distancing, we've been painting since then. And today is our final class of the spring. So I have had so much fun doing these. It's been a total joy. Um, but we are wrapping it up today with this beautiful lily. So before we get started, just a few reminders. This class is a skill building class. This is not about perfection. What you paint today is not going to end up in a museum. So you can take the stress, the pressure off yourself. This is not about perfection. This is not about achievement in this hour. It is all about taking time to just focus on something beautiful, to take your stressors and put them to the side and just dwell on something lovely for an hour. So we're going to do our best to mix the right colors, to draw the right shapes, and to replicate this beautiful flower. Um, but if you're not happy with it at the end of it, if it's not the finished product that you wanted, one, don't worry about it. You can always do it a second time. You can always take the class again. And I promise you the next time you do it, it's gonna be a lot easier and it's gonna go a lot more smoothly. But it's still not wasted time because this is all about meditation. This is all about growth. This is all about just dwelling on lovely things. So with that being said, let's go ahead and let's take our deep breath. So deep breath. Let everything else go off to the side now. We're gonna get started with our class time. I'm gonna show you real fast. This is my practice run. So it's a nice and simple class. Hey, Mick, welcome. Um, it's a nice and simple class. It's a simple flower. I think we're going to enjoy it and it's gonna be a great note to end on. So grab whatever you're painting on, whether it's your canvas, your paper, random piece of wood or cardboard, whatever it is, grab that, get that ready, and we're gonna get started. So. Let me get set up and then we'll get started with our painting. So here we are. A few things that I totally never thought of before today's class is one, I don't know if you can see, but I have this on like a little incline now, which makes the flower show up better, which why didn't I think of that before? And two, I have been on my knees painting on this hard surface for actual months now. And I just now thought to grab my yoga mat, which has always been sitting right next to me, and put it underneath my knees so it's a little bit softer. Yardley, welcome. Just in time. Katie, welcome. So yeah, so we are going to get started on this. Y'all have not missed anything. We are going to start with observing our flower as per usual. And today we have this lovely pink lily. So something I noticed from the start when we're looking at it from a distance, there's one big stalk and we have three stems coming off of it. This one is fully in bloom. So you've got that nice hot pink color. 
We've got skinny petals shooting up out of a small portion and they are kind of umbrellaing out. This one is more young of a bloom and so it's lighter in color. It's still got a lot of green to it. And then we've got this pod in the back that hasn't bloomed at all yet. So it's still fully green. So you kind of see the progression of green to like a light greenish yellow starting to be pink and then the nice true pink. When we're looking at these petals, even the ones that's fully bloomed, we still have that green line coming up through that hot pink flower petal, which I think is cool and we're totally gonna do. Um, we've got, I've never, I've yet to learn the name of this thing. The thing in the middle. Um, we've got a strong little pod coming out of the middle where it has a little dotted one, dead center, and then lots of little lines coming up. So we'll play with that. And then our leaves are a darker green and they're really skinny and they kind of fold in on themselves. So it creates kind of a ruffled look. It's not like a sharp kind of leaf structure. We've got a little bit of ruffles, so we can play with that too. So that is all that I'm noticing today. I will lay this back down and we'll be able to get started on our drawing. I think we'll be able to finish this in a good amount of time today, but if we don't, Yardley had a great idea, and so if we don't finish in the hour mark, I will stop this class and then reopen another live, but this time I'll just continue the class, which how did we not think of this sooner? I don't understand how we didn't think of this sooner, but that's what we'll do in case we run out of time, but I don't think we will. This class should be right at the hour mark. So let's go ahead and get started. Grab your pencils. The first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna place our two big flowers. Let me move this guy over a little. Um, we're gonna place our two big flowers. And the way that we're gonna do that is we're gonna do two triangles. And if y'all have done this class with me before, you'll know that I'll work big details to small details. So we'll work out the placement of things and then we'll fill in the details inside. So don't worry too much about what your triangles look like. We're just gonna place where our flowers will be on the page, draw the stems out, and then we'll go back and add those details. So let's start with this triangle right here. You'll notice it's not a true, we've got all those details in there, but we can mark out that triangle space. So I'm gonna come over to this spot right here and at an angle, I'm just gonna draw a triangle right here. So nice and simple, just a little triangle right there. And then over here, this one's larger, so I'm gonna draw a larger triangle starting a little bit lower, also going at an angle. And I'm gonna make this one a little bit more cute. Not cute, a cute. So a little bit sharper of an angle. And then I'm gonna draw that pod right behind it. So I'm just gonna shoot that up and just kind of doing that, treating it like an oval that doesn't finish, a really skinny oval that doesn't finish. Now, this pod is part of the original main stem. So it kind of comes down, so just imagine where that pod would end, the end around right up here, and then bring a line down all the way to your center base. And we've talked about axes before, but we have our finger axes, we have our wrist axis, we have our elbow, and then shoulder. So when you're drawing a long line like this, you're gonna hold these two axes in place and you're gonna pull with your elbow and shoulder and that's how you're gonna get a longer straight line. So you don't need to be doing this all the way down, just pull the line down and keep your wrist and fingers steady. So fun pro tip for you. Do the same thing over here, get it started. And then once you know where it's gonna be, just hold your wrist steady lightly on the page so it doesn't stick and pull it down just like that we're going to do the same thing over here but i noticed with this one it doesn't come in like this it's not doing that number it's going down and in so it's kind of drooping so the way i did that was i used my wrist axes and i just rotated that around so rotate that and then this one meets down here right so it doesn't go straight over to where the nearest spot is. It has a longer stem that comes down. So I'm gonna pull that down to the main stem. Nice and easy. Okay, 
So let's go ahead, once we have those lines drawn, they were nice and simple, we're gonna start adding in our petals. So we're gonna start on our smaller triangle with the main petal in the front. So you see it's kind of like an oval that bells out and then has a point that kind of dips in on both sides. Gosh, I need to learn better shapes. So we kind of start off small, then it bells out and then points in. Just like that. The next one I see is nice and big. So it goes a little bit further than that one that we just drew. And it has a little bit of a wave to it. But it's gonna bell out also. Go a little bit further and then give it a little bit of a dip. Just like that. Real pretty. And then our last petal over here, it kind of ruffles a little bit. So we're gonna go to the end of our triangles and keep this line like we have it. I'm just going to pull it up a little bit and then I'm going to add a ruffle where it's going to fold in. So the way that I did that is I just pulled that up and then on the inside in the middle, I just did a little bit of an S curve and I pulled it in just like that. Okay. Now let's go ahead and add that little top off right there. Coming right in between the front pedal and this back one. And then let's come over here and let's draw this straight one coming out. So it has the straight edge and then it is soft and curved on the inside. And then finally, we will add the little point of that pedal in the very back in between these two. So taking the edges, just like that. So here's what we've got so far. Looking good. Wesley, hello. Okay, so let's go over to this one, the one on the other side. So once again, we'll start with that middle petal, but this one, if you notice, doesn't go up as high. So we're not gonna go all the way to the top of our triangle. We're gonna stay a little bit lower. So coming from the bottom, we're going to bell out a little bit, but then we're not going to go. I'm leaving just as much about the width of my pointer finger. All in all, it's one, two, three. So I left about a fourth of where my triangle ends. So bell that out. Just like that. Now let's go over to the left side. So if you can tell, there are two petals here. So we're gonna draw both petals and we'll draw the one closest in first. So this one I'm gonna bring up to about right here. I'm just gonna kind of ruffle it down, keeping an oval shape. And then behind it, I'm just gonna bring this one up and then have it curve out. Just like that. Over here, this one is pretty large and pretty wide. So you'll see it starts over here and then it comes all the way to the other side of this front petal. So over here it starts and then it comes all the way to the other side of this petal. Good job. Now let's do this one right here. I don't know if you can see it. Let me drop. So we've got this line right here. It's skinny and then it comes in. So I'm gonna start right here. I'm gonna go all the way out of my triangle. Like that. And then the one that wraps around it is a little bit chunkier. So we'll start right here. And pull that up. And then we'll keep with the width of our triangle and pull it back around like that. Looking good, y'all. We are doing really good, really good on time so far. And I think we're gonna be great and be happy with this. Okay. So let's go ahead and add the little pod right there. So I'm just gonna do an oval right here. And then pull it down. And then I'm going to add some skinny ovals right there, right there, just like that.
doesn't have to be exact. We'll just kind of place them for now and then we'll add the details later. So let's add some of our leaves. And remember, they're kind of roughly in shape. So we'll go ahead, they're nice strong ovals, but as you're doing them, go ahead and add your ruffles and just make it a little bit irregular to where it's not a perfect line. So I'll start on this one. I'm giving it a nice point and I'm just ruffling it back to the stem. I'll do another one right here. And this one, I'm going to do a little bit more of an oval like that, but I'm gonna bring the ruffle in. So that way I can paint in a fold later. Then I'm gonna add another leaf down here where the base of this flower is. I'm gonna make it nice and long. And then I'm gonna do one more. I'm not gonna deal with these guys down here. I'm just gonna do this long one right there. Give it a nice point and then pull it down. Y'all, I am excited about this. This is gonna look good. Okay, do we want any more leaves? I think I'm happy with that. Let's go ahead right up here and let's add this line in so we don't forget it. So this oval that we drew at first is actually two petals that we can see. So let's go ahead and separate those two petals. You can kind of see a difference at the top. Opa. Okay, there we go. So you can kind of see where it doesn't have the same top, but you can see that right here too, right? Just like that. Okay, and with that, we can put our pencils, well, go ahead and erase. If, you, if you're like me and you have like a pencil line that's hanging out where we're not gonna have paint, you can go ahead and erase that. You don't want that showing up later. Okay. With that, you can put your pencils down. I'm gonna take a sip of my drink, and then we're gonna get started with mixing green. Mm -hmm. Okay, so for our green, we need our blue and our yellow. So we're gonna start with the true green, and then from that, we'll mix the more maroon color of the stems, and then we'll start blending into the lighter greens and lighter yellows on the flower petals. So it's gonna be a journey of color mixing today. So go ahead and get your paints on your paper, on your, um, on your mixing plate, but don't use all the paint that's on there. We're gonna drag a little bit at a time and just mix the colors as we need them. So we're gonna start with a true dark green. Mix your blue and your yellow. Here is the color we're going for. And we're just gonna be filling in these leaves. So, nice and simple, once you mix that color, we're just gonna fill it in. And with time, we're gonna go back over and add other layers. So don't worry too much about getting it about having like any brush strokes showing or any irregularities in the color. We're gonna go back and fix that later. This is just the first layer of color that we're putting down. And remember our priority with, layer, with first layers is to get a nice hard outer line. So that's going to make your painting look a lot sharper if you have a nice sharp line on the outside edge. So just kind of focus in, if you're going to take time on any part of it, just focus in on getting a good line on that outer line. The inside will cover back over, it'll be fine. Okay, and for my ruffled one, if you're doing a ruffle like me, I'm going to do this outside ruffle, the top ruffle, and I'm going to leave the inside one a little bit more blank, but I'm still gonna do the outline. So let me show you. So I'm focusing in on this outline right here. 
and then I'm actually going to fill in the fold over. So that top line, like that. Okay, and finally, for the pod at the top, we're not gonna fill it in completely because this is much lighter green, but I am going to draw the outlines. So if you wanna just do those outer lines, nice and sharp, we're gonna go back in with that lime green later. But this will get those low lights in. And y'all be sure, let me know if you have any questions, I guarantee you, that other people have the same questions, especially people watching the recording. It'll help you, it'll help the recorded people out if the live people ask questions along the way, because I can't think of everything that y'all might be thinking of, so it helps me out a lot. So just ask questions as we go, I'm happy to help. Okay, once you have that color on, the next thing we're gonna do is, I'll show you, a little bit closer up when you look, you can see that the actual stems that the flowers are on are not a true green, but they have a reddish brown hue to them. So we're gonna paint that reddish brown color. Uh, that looks about right. Eh, we know where we're at. Okay, so we're gonna add a little bit of red to our palette, and we're gonna mix some of that in. Y'all, I'm at the very end of these paint tubes. So this is coming just in time before I had to order more paint. So, have that green. We're still gonna be using a green base, but now we're gonna add a little bit of red, just a little bit, in with the greens. making a nice brownish green color. I don't know about y'all, but I find paint mixing so therapeutic. It just feels good to me. Okay. Let me wipe my brush off and I'll show you the color that we just mixed. Okay. So a nice brownish green and we're going to be coming in and filling in our paint stems. Now remember this is layer one, so we will go back and add in our highlights and make it look a little bit more rounded. So the way that I am making these stems, I flattened out my brush and now I'm just taking it inside and I'm just pulling with my elbow and my shoulder to drag that color down nice and smoothly. So satisfying when you can get that right. If your paint, here I'll show you. If your paint is this to where it doesn't fully fill in and starts to kind of gap, mix a little bit more water in with your paint and that will make it fill out um, and flow a little bit more smoothly, especially if you're working on paper like I am. You won't have that issue as much on canvas. That's more of a paper issue. So just take those bases and drag it down. Nice. Okay. So y'all just make sure you put extra attention towards those outside lines. We want those to be looking sharp. We don't care so much about the inside right now because that's the first layer. But just make sure those outside lines are nice and sharp. Now, we are going to go ahead and grab our white and put that on our board as well. So just a nice dollop. Okay, 
Okay. So the next thing we're gonna mix is we're gonna mix kind of this reddish lime green. So take a little bit of this color that we mix that brownish color, that brownish green, then a good bit of yellow, and some white. So this isn't mixing a true lime green just yet. but it's got a little bit of that, a little bit of that red in there to give it some depth and to make it easier to shift it into the pinks, which we're gonna be doing. Oh no. <laughs> I don't know how that happened. I just mixed a ton of blue into that. It's cause I'm trying to keep all of my paints inside y'all's view. Um, and so I'm keeping it in a really small little corner. Okay. This is the color I've just mixed. It's a little clumpy on my brush, but that's okay. So we're gonna start at the base of here and at the little top of here. Nice and easy where we know that color is. So I'm just putting a little bit at the base, kind of like a triangle. And I'm gonna pull it up. And then I'm gonna do a little triangle at the top and pull it down, just like that. We're gonna be doing several layers on our tulips just to get the right blending of colors. So you really don't have to worry too much about getting the first, the first bits right because it's gonna change and it's gonna meld and mix a little bit as we go. So that's the first one. Let's go ahead and do the base of this flower here you see like the outline right here stays green actually it's more from my angle when I sit back I can see more green but up here you just have that little bit of green going so just put that in and then a little bit at the top along that fold mix water as you need Now we're gonna do this green line coming straight down. So pick the middle of this stem of this flower petal right here and just pull it down. So middle, pull it down. Nice and easy. And y'all can't see it as much, but there's also a green line right here. So we're gonna do that green line right there too. So the very edge of this petal, we're just gonna pull a green line all the way down. Good job. Okay, so let's go ahead, let's do the base of this one and two little, well, yeah, let's do the base. So just kind of take that base and flick it up a little bit, like that. So the way I do flicks is I have my brush like this, I push it down, and then I flick the rest, just like that. Just kind of flick that up a little bit and then pull the center line. We're going to do a center line on this one too, but this one's a little bit curved. So the flower petal itself is curving. So you don't have to do a straight line. You can kind of let it be a little lazy. Just like that. And the same thing over on this one. This one kind of has that lazy S. And we drew that so you can kind of, it actually, it follows the outside line. So if you just follow your outside line of that skinny petal that we have coming out, that bottom line is going to be green. Oh, when did that happen? I don't know if y'all can see it on mine, but I'm gonna have to make this flower bigger to cover over my mistake. So I'm just gonna pull this petal out a little bit further. Y'all do not need to do that. I'm just having to do it because I made a little error and I somehow got paint mixed around. Okay, so while we have this color mixed, we're also gonna go ahead and add a little bit of detail to our, our leaves. So first let's start with our pod and let's just fill in the inner part of our pod. And y'all, if y'all ever do that too, where you accidentally stick your hand in paint and then it ends up on the rest of your board, 
don't worry about it. We can roll with it. We can always fix it. It's not an issue. Um, let's add, I want to, I want that middle line going down on this one. I forgot to do that. So let's go ahead and add this middle line. Just coming through the middle. Not a big deal. On this fold over, go ahead and fill in the parts that were painted. Just like that. And then over on this one, let's just fill in a middle line. So keep it nice and lazy and pull it down. Over here, we have just a little bit showing. So we're gonna do just a little touch of that lighter color. Just like that. And then down here, same thing. We just have a little bit of a touch in this spot right here where we're just gonna pull some. Just like that. Nice and simple. Okay, let's go ahead, let's grab a little bit more yellow. Mix it in with that. A little bit of white. And now we're making more of a soft yellow. Okay, so the soft yellow is gonna come just at the top of this first main petal. So if you wanna just do a little dot. Mine is not yellow enough, so I went, I, mine was too green still, so I'm just gonna pull over a little bit more yellow, a little bit of white. If you ever put the paint on your canvas or on your paper and you realize it's not quite right, no worries, just remix. That's an easy enough solution to make. Okay, so a little bit there, and a little bit here, pulling down. And then I'm noticing it comes a little bit further down and a little bit along the edge of this. So let's pull a line down on this petal and then pull a line down here. And you'll see I covered up some of that green, which is totally fine. So here's what I've done on this one. Y'all, I can already tell this is gonna be so pretty. I can't wait to see how y'all turn out. Okay, so on this guy right here, we've got touches of yellow right around here on the edge. Be careful about, wash your, wash your palms like mine. Um, make sure we're not moving paint around without meaning to. So I'm just doing a little outside line right there. And then I'm gonna do another one on this side. And I'm going to come back and fix this later when that color is mixed, but I'm just not going to worry about it for right now. And I'm leaving that inside bit right there because you can tell there's a little bit of pink there, so I don't want to mess with that just yet. Okay. Make that a little bit softer of a color. I swear I have the lights on, but it does not look like it. Here, let me turn on some more lights real fast. It's getting a little dark for me. There we go, that's better for me. I hope it works for you too. Okay, so let's add a little bit of that soft yellow to this top bit again. So I'm just filling in where I had that fold over. And then I'm gonna add a little bit to this back petal right here. I'm gonna fill that in a little bit. And honestly, you can fill it in completely and we'll add other colors later. So just go ahead and fill that in completely. Might as well. Okay, where else? Let's do, let's, yeah. Okay, so we've got that color mixed. Now let's add a little bit of red. So now we're just shifting into like a soft peach. This is the color. It's a little bit of a peachy yellow. It's a little bit different. And we're gonna come over here. And I'm gonna, hmm, yeah, that works. I'm gonna paint the outside rim of this main petal. 
and I'm going to go ahead and hit these two interior lines. Yes. This is good. Are y'all tracking with me? How's the painting going on y'all's end right now? Let me know if you have any questions. I can always remix the color, show you how to mix it. Um, yeah, I'm happy to stop. We've got time. Um, yeah, we've got time to do this right. Okay, so I'm just mixing, for me, I'm mixing a little bit more of that peachy color. Whoop, but that went way too strong. So now, for more of that color, I'm gonna do some on this petal right here. So I'm gonna trace the, into the line next to that green line. I'm gonna trace it on either side with this peachy color. Right there. Then on this petal, this one right here, I'm gonna add a little bit of this peach on both sides. I'm gonna go just follow to about right there. So I didn't bring it all the way down, I just brought it to about right there. If your brush gets clumpy along the way, remember the way that we flatten it is we put it flat right here, pinch, and then pull. And now I've got a nice flat, sharp line. So whenever you need to do that, just do that. Okay. So let's add a little bit of that peach to this one, the one that we just painted completely yellow. Let's add just a little highlight along the edge and coming down into that triangle. It doesn't change that much, but it helps a little. And it's all about those subtle shifts that's gonna make it come alive. And then let's add just a line coming down right here. Just like that. Okay, and there's just a little bit of this peach color on the other flower because it's a much sharper color. So let's add a little bit in and then we're gonna move more into our, our hot pinks. Okay, so add a little bit right around here. Sorry, I'm just looking, making sure I'm telling you the right thing. And about right here. So I just added four lines. I just did right here and then right here. I overlapped with colors that I've already painted in. We're just adding details, adding dimension. Okay, and I think that's it for that color. So now we're going to go a little bit more pink. I accidentally mixed that color, the next color earlier, but this color that we were just working with we're gonna add a little bit more pink to it. Add water if you need to, to make it stretch. So this is the color we're going for now. Just a little bit more pink. You can see the difference right there. Okay, so let's go ahead, starting with this one. I'm gonna paint the edge. Just like that and then the other side as well. So I'm just filling in the rest that has not been painted. Then over here, I'm gonna paint a little bit of this color coming in. I'm just filling in the white space now. And then in that back petal that we haven't touched yet, it's because it's the darkest one, we're just gonna add a dot of this because it's gonna have an even darker color. So I'm just adding a little dot. And then here, let's do, add a little bit more dimension and just add two more lines in the center of that darker, darker pink color. Now over here, let's go ahead and let's fill in the rest of this petal. You don't have to go to the edges because that's gonna be a different color. So just kind of filling in So like that, and I'm gonna fill in this gap too. This will have more color added onto it, but we'll start with that. 
Now coming to the tip of this one and this one, we're gonna paint a little bit right up here and right up here. And then coming over to this side, we're gonna do this little kind of upside down V shape. If you can, mine that I drew does not really allow for that. But if you can, add a little bit of that in. And then one little line, not quite touching the green, but just kind of going in that direction. And now we're gonna switch colors again. So we're gonna go more the pink route. So we've been doing that orangey color. Now we're gonna go more into pink. So I just grabbed some red and mixed it on top of that other color. If you have a lot of that color left, don't bother with wasting too much of your paint, just kind of start a new color. This is the color we're going for now. Nice, pretty pink. And let's start over here. Wait, let me give you a second. <laughs> I'll give you a second to mix, don't worry. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Okay. All right, so coming over here, back to this flower, let's start with this petal that we haven't really touched, the second one over. So I'm gonna come to the bottom of it. Just like that. You see now we're now we're starting to talk. And then on the one right next to it, I'm gonna go ahead and draw that line. That exterior line. I love it when we build colors like this because it just like slowly starts to come to life. And there's always a moment like this one where it starts to click into place. Like you can kind of see where it's going to turn out all right. Okay, let's go ahead, let's come back over to this side and let's do the interior spaces. So we're not going all the way to the edge, but you can just go ahead and fill this petal in and fill this petal in. If you do go to the edge, that's not a problem. Um, you just don't have to. And then we're gonna do the interior of uh, this one. And just kind of make a marker of where your pods are. You don't have to just kind of watch out for them, basically. I'm painting around them, but if you want to cover them and just remember where they were, that's totally fine too. Now we're going to take this color and pop it over here. So mix a little bit of water in if you need to. Let's start with this back petal and let's fill in the white spaces. Just kind of move and manipulate your brush around as you need to. Don't cover over completely the petal that you were, the, the color that you already drew. We're just gonna work accordingly. And now this one over here, I don't know if you can tell, but it has a little bit of a ridge. So we're just gonna manufacture that now. We're just gonna go where we have the overlap of color and I'm just going to take this color and fold it in. Now we're going to take this color, that last white space over here, and we're going to fill it in. And I'm going to go a little bit up to the line that's kind of over like that. I went, I filled this space in right here, and then I went a little bit up. Just like on here, see it? A little bit up. Now I'm gonna draw the outline, the outer line of this petal. So I just drew that outer line coming down. And then I'm gonna wait. We're gonna mix a darker color for that right there. So I think I am happy with that color. We're gonna go a little bit darker now. So it makes a little bit more red in. And we're gonna grab just a touch, 
just a little tiny touch of blue to add a little bit of that purple in, a little bit darker, and a little touch of yellow. And we're just deepening this color. We'll do a little bit more blue, a little bit more red. Okay, so now let's go ahead and add those nice deep low lights. So we'll start with the deepest ones, and we're going to do this petal right here. Just underneath that lime green, we're just going to add that deeper shadow. And mine is not quite dark enough, so I'm going to add more red. And this is how we figure it out, y'all. We mix the color, we put it on there, and then we look at it compared with our actual flower. And if it doesn't match up, if it's not what we wanted, we just fix it. It's that simple. So never give up if you get to a point where it's like, that's not right, I wish it was a deeper color, it just doesn't look the same. Just kind of look at it, see where the difference is, and remix. Okay. That's better. So add the little light there. And we're going to add the kind of lining wherever it's white along this other one. So this back one I'm now filling in with this darker color. Same thing on this one. I'm filling in that white space right here. I'm filling in this white space now with this deeper color. And I'm gonna outline this one with the deeper color as well. Flatten your brushes, mix water in as you need to. It's looking good, y'all. Okay, and this one has the outline as well, but you'll see, whereas the shadow is on this side, <laughs> Okay. The shadow is on this side of this green stem. The shadow is on the opposite side of the other green stem. So I'm going to do the dark line on this side of this green stem. And then we've got a little bit of that line along the edge right here. If you want to add that in, you can. Okay, and I wanted that line a little bit over here. We have those darker lines too. So come over here and I'm going to add just a little bit of a line right there. I'm going to do the same thing, adding a little bit more of this darker line on the outside of that, and then on the inside of this green line like we talked about. And then I see that darker color over here, just a smidge. So I'm going to pull this down like that. Okay, it's coming, y'all. We're going to give that paint a little bit of time to dry. And Let's go ahead and head back to, oh, let's mix, take a little bit of this color, pull it over. So if just what's on your brush, you can just flatten it onto your plate. Grab a little bit of blue, a little bit of yellow. We're gonna mix more of a greenish brown and we're gonna fill in our little center pods. So the way I'm doing that is I'm going to See that oval right there? It's just the right size for me to put this down and do that, which makes for a great line. So just pop it in the right spot and do that. Flatten your brush out. So flatten it for the other ones just because they're a little bit smaller. And then we're gonna put these 
good old lines in for where these guys are going. Nice. And now let's go back and revisit our lighter green color. So you can keep this brown that we just mixed. Take a little bit of white, pull that in. Take a little bit of yellow, pull that in. And bring a little bit more blue in. So I'm just making a lighter kind of gray green. And we're gonna add that center highlight on our stems. So I have a nice thin brush with that lighter color and I'm going to stay in the middle. So just along the middle I'm going to pull down with this lighter color and with that I'm adding a little bit of dimension to make it feel more three-dimensional. So just like that. You can see just a little bit. Okay, and now I want that to pull in a little bit more. The base of my flowers isn't fully connected. So I'm gonna take this color and I'm just gonna pull that around so it's more connected. And the way I did that is I just went like this and I just pulled it like that. Do the same thing over here. Just gonna pull that base in. And with that one, I kind of did a little bit more of a line to pull it in, but you can also just do that same thing. How are y'all looking? We're nearing the finish, so y'all tell me if you have any questions and you need any help. I'm gonna revisit some of these petals and make sure that they all go together really well. So back here, this one has too much of a contrast for me, so I need to make that blend a little bit better. And I think the way that I'm going to do that is I'm going to dull down that hot pink in there and then I'm going to pull a little bit of pink down along the edges of this one. So the way I'm going to do that is I'm going to mix a tree pink again. So I've got this darker pink over here. If I can pull a little bit out, so I'll take this white. See, I already got some pink in there. Take some red. First, I'm going to create an outline for this one because this one does have a nice pink outline that we didn't address. So I'm going to pull that pink outline down around that center flower. And then I'm going to cover over the darkest part of that back petal. That looks better. Now I can't just have that color in those two spots, so I'm just gonna add it a little bit in some of the other petals on that flower. So this back one doesn't have any pink, so I'm just gonna add a little bit of that pink. So here's what I did. I just added a little bit of an outline, and then I kind of brought it in a little bit just for fun, and then I did that outline. And now while it's up here, I can add a little bit more, Whew, this takes skill, y'all. Add a little bit more in that pocket, just like that. And then I'm gonna drop it down so I don't mess up, but I'm gonna add a little bit more to this ridge right on the inside of that. And then coming over here, I still have some white spaces. I don't know about you, but I still have some white spaces in between my petals. So this is a pretty neutral pink, so I'm gonna go ahead and fill in all my little white spaces that I didn't fill in before. So I'm taking it very cautiously. I'm just filling in anywhere that I have white space where there should be straight petals. And if it overlaps into any of your other color, that is totally fine. Um, that's just gonna add dimension and detail for you. Okay. All right, we are very near the finish. Let's see, do y'all have any questions um, or need any help on any finishing details? 
I think I'm gonna mix an even lighter pink just as we close out, just to kind of be nitpicky and get it just right. I'm gonna mix a lighter pink and add a little bit on this petal. This is almost white, how pink it is. Um, a little bit on this line. You see, I'm just petaling. I just kind of mix that lighter pink color. I'm looking at the flower and I'm seeing where I could make my flower look a little bit more like the real one. And a lot of times I'll just mix a color like this and then I will look all over and see where I can add it. And that can be a lot easier than trying to mix the right color for each area. Just mix the color and then look around and say, where does this fit? It seems silly, but it really helps. Okay, wrapping this up. Y'all can of course keep working on this, but I'm obviously gonna stop. Um, if y'all, let me flip you around. Go ahead and take, here's your screenshot of the painting. Here's your screenshot of the flowers. Here's your screenshot of them both. And if y'all have any other questions as you continue to work on this, please reach out, DM me, let me know. I am more than happy to help. It is not an inconvenience at all. It's something I actually enjoy doing. So please send me a picture of what you're working on as you need help, as you need to be talked through the finish. I'm happy to help you through the finish. Um, yeah, as you finish these paintings, if you can, post them, tag me in them, and then use the hashtag lovely things to come. Um, Yardley, stand by. I will message you and show you the color again. But for everybody else, um, yeah, thank you for joining me. This has been a lot of fun. I have thoroughly enjoyed these classes. I am sad to see them end, but stay tuned because classes are not ending. It's just the end of this season of classes. So stay tuned for more. Um, yeah, I love y'all. I'm grateful for you. I've had a lot of fun. See y'all next time.